Hi everybody! Welcome to Patty's Polish Corner. Today I'm doing Valentine nail art and I am using the She Modern foil art um, and I, I completely love it but I have got two ways of coloring it in and one is new and never done before on anyone's video that I know of. <laughs> so I'm bringing it to you first and it's really easy and I hope you love it so let's get started! I'll be using Wave Gel's Base Gel and Shinino Clean Top Gel. I have two coats of Dracula's Cup on my fingernails. I also have two coats of RO Metal Saurus on my fingernails. And I have one coat of Soul Silver. Soul Silver has got a lot of sparkly glitter in it. Let me see if I can open this up and show you. It's it's very glittery, um, but it's you know it would take a lot. I mean, not a lot. I would have to sponge it on to build it up. So I went with Auro Metal Saurus as the base color, and then just put some glitter over the top of it so that it is extra sparkly. So these are how I have my hands painted. I'm going to attempt <laughs> to do one design on each hand. So on this finger, I'm going to do one design. And on this finger, I'm going to do another. And what I'm doing is I'm just rubbing off the tacky layer. All the rest of the nails have been top coated. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rough up the surface just slightly to take off the shine a little bit. And then this one. Okay, and then just get rid of the dust. Okay, and then we're just going to put some nail glue on. Some nail glue on this finger. With Valentine's Day coming up soon, I'm going to be using my hearts and I'm going to cut out the strip. Now one of these ways of coloring these, um, these decals in you've already seen and one you haven't. Okay, one way we're going to color it in with gel polish is a little decal. And the other way, okay, the other way I have it on the stamper head and I'm going to apply it like a, um, like a foil, like, you know, nail foil sheets. Just pressing that down really good. And inside the package is the smoothing paper or the design stoppers. And so I'm just going to rub this down really good and press it down. I want to make sure that the whole decal gets rubbed into the glue really well. Okay, and then should be able just to lift this up. Perfect. 
perfect. Woohoo, guys. Oh, that's so amazing. Okay. <laughs> Just love it when my nail art turns out well. Okay, now you've seen me do this trick before. So I'm going to show it to you again, though. I've done it when I was um, doing nail stamping. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a top coat on it right now. Make sure I get the image really nice and top coated. I hate when there's a big hair that comes from who knows where. This fuzzy stuff is coming from. Okay, so I'm going to cure that and then we'll come right back. Okay, so I've got a little jar right here and I just need a touch of alcohol in there, not a lot. And then I have a tin foil right here and I'm just going to put some of Dracula's cup on here. We don't need a lot because we're just filling in the little heart. And I have a fine detail brush. What I'm going to do is I'm going to dip the brush into some alcohol and pick up the gel and just kind of make it into like a, a watercolor consistency. And then I'm just going to color in the heart. Actually, this will give it a nice glitter um, background as well. You want to stay inside the lines. And if I were doing it like on a white background, background, you would definitely see that this looks like like watercolor, like watercolor art. It's pretty cool. And if you, if you think that the color is too dark or too light, you just add more or less alcohol. The higher the alcohol content, the better, because the alcohol will dry off really quickly, leaving just the gel. And since I, I put the top coat down, um, you would just, if you made a mistake, you could just wipe it right off. Yeah, this is so easy to do, guys. You have no idea. All right, so now I'm just going to cure it. And then we stick a top coat on, and we are good to go. Okay, now we're just going to top coat that. And this hand is done. Oh my gosh, i got to get more top coat. Okay, I'm going to cure that. Now for our other one sitting here, what you do is you, I'm just going to use the tin foil again. You can use the little mixing canvas that comes in there, but we're not going to do that today. Um, I'm going to use Aromatosaurus, and I just need a drop of it on the tin foil. Okay, so I'm just going to take a little teeny bit on my brush and just lightly brush in the center of the design. You don't want to get too much or it gets thick. 
course we do want to see the silver so thinking we're going to need a little bit more And as long as you stay within the lines, you're good with this. Hmm, I think that looks pretty good. Let me see. Hmm, maybe I don't think I should have picked this color. <laughs> okay, I think that'll be okay, and I'm just going to cure it for 30 seconds. Okay, now I have a little top coat on the tin foil, and I'm just going to brush it around the edges of the heart. You want to make sure that you get um, the outline, that you're not leaving out any of the outline. And then just brush the center. And you want to keep everything really, really thin. Okay, so now I'm going to cure it for another 30 seconds. Okay, so now this is done, and what I find it best is to take it off of this um, stamper. And what you want to do is you just want to scratch at the side a little bit, and it will pop right up. There we go. Oh, it looks like some of it stayed there, uh, but that's okay. Uh, it looks like it's still looking really good. Okay. Oh. Now we're just going to, let's see. How do I want this? Okay, I think I want it like this. Oh, I think that little piece in the middle is, hmm. I think we might need that. Hold on a second. I'm just going to get a little black Sharpie and color it in. Okay. So, just color this in a little bit. You'll never know. What happened? I'm going to stick it on my finger. Okay, so I want it to go facing kind of this way. That's all there is to it. So now I'm going to take that little stopper that I actually put away because I forgot I needed it. <laughs> well, let's see. And we're just going to flatten it. Flatten it down really good. There. 
How does that look? Wow, I love that. Okay, now you just put a top coat on and you are good to go. So I'm just going to put the top coat on and we'll come back and we'll take a look at this. So here is the finished look. Uh, two different ways of coloring in your nail art. And it, this way really gets easier and easier the more you do it. Just remember you keep the layers thin, you only cure it for 30 seconds. This way is just a remarkable way to do it um, if you don't want to do the little decal thing. Um, either way works really great. And uh, that's about it. So I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not one of my subscribers, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.